What's going on guys? The first inning program came out with the game last week, but it wasn't until this weekend where we got the first inning showdown. The first inning showdown is gonna give you 35,000 XP towards the first inning program. That's not repeatable. But I highly suggest getting this done during the double XP weekend because you're gonna get that double XP from the games. You won't get the 35,000 doubled, but the games that you play and the missions that you do are gonna give you double XP while you grind it out. So you might as well do it now while it's doubled up. You're gonna end up with well over 40,000 XP in total by the time you're done doing this showdown. We're gonna open it up here. We are gonna hop into a draft, break the whole thing down. Let me just explain all the little icons and everything we got going on here. There is one mini boss, rival icon that you see right here. You'll get a diamond batter and a diamond perk, a pack, and 500 stubs if you complete this. If you go into this and you lose, you have to start your entire run over. These little mini missions that you see, which are the blue, you can fail those without restarting. You just move on to the next one and you don't get the rewards. Lose to the mini boss, you have to start over. You can skip to the end whenever you feel comfortable. This is gonna be a 15 run, 20 out showdown. So it's like last year's showdown. If you played last year, you know what I'm talking about. Those of you that are new, and you're gonna have to outscore them at 15 runs. So you gotta score 16 runs in total. There are 10 missions that you can do to get that run gap as small as you can. I'm gonna go into the first inning program. I'm gonna slide over. The Gold Henchman Pack had Wade Boggs, Joe Morgan, Dan Plesak. Dan Plesak is one of the pitchers you could see in the mini boss moment. You could also see Nathan Avaldi, who's the Diamond Flashback Choice player from the, the Classics Pack in the first inning program. And then the final boss, of course, is going to be Fernando Valenzuela. And the first round of your draft is going to feature Mike Piazza and Kenny Lofton as options. We're going to go ahead and start the draft. Like I said, we're going to see all the studs in the first round. And then there's going to be one random player. Paul Canerco is actually not a bad option there. We are gonna see Valenzuela at the end though, so I'm taking Mike Piazza. And then honestly, I would just load up on guys planning for Valenzuela at the end because you don't know if you're gonna see Evaldi or Plesak in the middle until you get there. So I would prepare for both with that one, but be totally ready for the final boss being left-handed. On this one, Jose Abreu is a great option, but Mark Hanna is my guy. And we'll take the 108.90 Wade Boggs contact. Would have liked a better round there, but it is what it is. We'll do Brandon Woodruff as an all pitcher round. We can go with none of these options are good for a left-handed pitcher, but we can do Aaron Hicks for the righty. Hopefully we see Evaldi in the middle and I guess Jonathan VR. This, this is one of the worst showdown drafts I have ever seen. Give me Chad Pinder. Dodgers logo down there, of course, is gonna be Valenzuela. We have to come back from a 15 run deficit. The first mission will be for one run and two silver perks. Facing Fernando in the ninth with a runner on third, tally one run. So he's gotta knock in a runner from third base, should be super simple. And there is no outs and your leadoff runner batter will be starting this thing off, keep that in mind. You got all, this is super easy. Just be patient. Don't free swing until you have two strikes is the biggest thing in a situation like this. Wait for a meatball like that. I missed that one out in front. Still have a strike to work with though. Wait for something out over the plate. Even if it's strike, you don't have to swing at it. Something hittable like that. Bang! Piazza with a double the other way. And we're done. The showdown squad tally four total bases and two innings. Four bases, that's four singles, two doubles, one homer, a triple and a singer. However you want to shake it, let's do it. Stroman in the black unis in City Field is so dope looking. Those match unis are classics. Perfect, perfect for a single. Aaron Hicks down the line. I was out in front of that changeup, but that's okay. It'll be a two run double and we're done. Give me my run, give me my run, and my silver batter. Show me a goon. Show me a goon with my silver batter. Ah! Kike's actually really good against lefties. We'll take him. He'll be useful against Valzuela. And then next, still no lefty crushers. We'll take Lorenzo Cain. Piazza ended his career with a 308 average and won 10 silver slugger, making him one of the best hitting catchers ever. Playing with a showdown squad tally, two hits. We need two hits. Just two. Mark Hanna ripped, and we are done. I'm just gonna let that be a single so we can speed this up. Get it in quick, please, in quick, in quick. Hey, we just got that Diamond Classics pack from the first inning program. I'm telling you, man, these little moments giving you three, 400 XP at a time. And we get to add another silver to our team. Uh, again, no lefty crushers here. I'm just gonna take Jay Bruce in case we take Evaldi in the middle. Play your showdown squad tally, two total bases and two innings. Oh, he's gotta hit one double, are you kidding me? Wait, or at least it wasn't a double play. 
least it wasn't a double. Canna? I'm under it, but it might travel. It will not. We got one more shot at this. I need a double. I'm not playing extra innings on this one. Oh, yeah. Aaron Hicks to the moon. Shout out to Adam. Up to four runs total now. We're going to get another silver player here. Still no lefty killers. We'll do Marwin Gonzalez. Facing Fernando, score one run in two innings. One run, come on. I power swung there and we got it. It's a tick late, but it's traveling. It's Piazza and it is, I thought he robbed it. Wait, it stays in a park. He knocked it down. That'll work. There's our run. Success again. We're up to five runs before the first mini boss. And we're going to add another silver, which is going to be J.D. Davis is good. Uh, A.J. Pollock, though, with the 89 power versus left plus six on top of that. Got to go A.J. Pollock. And the mini boss is going to be against Nathan Avaldi. So let's stack up against the righty. We'll get a diamond batter, a diamond perk, a pack, and 500 stubs. You will enter and have to come back from a two-run deficit, but the bases will be loaded with nobody out. Nine outs. Should be super simple. Just got to clear those bases. Oh, yeah. That'll work. The pizza man brings up Wade Boggs. Trying to make sure I'm under the ball. Under the ball. Under the ball! Ground rule double, we're done. 540 XP, 500 stubs, a pack, and of course, diamond player and perk for the success. No run though. Oh, baby. Frank Thomas pops up. Keston's got inverted splits. 95, 95 against left. Can't ask for much better than that. And we'll do a heart attack diamond perk. Significant contact boost while losing. The best perk you can get in showdown for the final boss. That perk bails you out on bad swings like clockwork. Now at this point with 20 outs to work with, needing to score 11, I would skip to the end, but I'm gonna go for at least a few more here, play a couple more of these out. Facing Lofton in a White Sox with the showdown squad starting pitcher, do not allow a base runner. So we have to have a clean inning with our pitcher, which will be Brandon Woodruff. Two runs and a gold batter, gold perk, 250 stub. And now back to our best pitch here, three, two and he flies out to left center. That was a good at bat by Robert. He took a couple tight pitches. And now Jose Abreu, last year's AL MVP, another really good hitter, gonna start him with an off speed. And I was gonna jam him with the fastballs afterwards, but he chopped that one. Three up, three down, we're done. Up to seven runs now. The next mission, playing with your showdown squad. Tally one extra base hit and one, in, uh, one extra base hit for two runs, come on. I do not know what's going on. It will not let me go into this moment. I'm gonna see if it's gonna allow me to skip to the end. I've been sitting here trying this for a few minutes, but it keeps telling me that the moment is fail. I don't know what's going on. It can't be a server thing because the servers are actually up for once. I don't know what happened. Actually, now it's starting to load pretty slow. Will it let me skip to the end? Oh, it'll let me skip to the end though. So can I do the final boss? It won't even let me do the final boss. Let me re let me close this app and open it back up. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump in against the final boss, score eight runs, or actually nine runs on 20 outs with the current team that we have, which is fine. This lineup's nasty. Piazza, harden on the ground. But one down. JD gets that one down. We needed it. Wade Boggs back up the middle for a knock. Runs in bunches. We need him. Canna, that should bleed. It'll be a knock. We're going to send JD. He'll score. And there's still two on. Now, I don't love clearing the bases. But when double plays are sitting there, I like clearing the bases. A bomb from Kike would be nice. Bombs! On command! Ay, yeah, yeah, the shift's gonna get us there. Screwball hung, Pollock. They save on an error! What? Aaron? Hicks, that's Steven and Gavin will be at least two. It's going to be a bomb. Let's go. Three more. Frank demolished by maybe the best left-handed pitching hitter in the game. JD. Oh, man. Canna 
put a line drive to right. That as well will knock it down. And now the line outs are starting to pile up. It's a good swing by AJ Pollock, and it actually ends up carrying over his head in left field. I thought that was going to be an out. Lorenzo Kane into the gap for the win. Perfect, perfect. Walk it off. Give me those XP. Bling nameplate and those Tatis hair socks. We got 2,670 XP in 40 pitches and didn't have to play defense. Showdown success. Mission rate was 8 out of 12. Of course, I had to skip a few there. Let's go check out the first inning program. So in the first inning program now, you can see we have 211,385 experience points. I am going to work my way towards this first inning boss. There are still a bunch of things that I can do to get this done. We've done the showdown. We've done the conquest. I've collected the Eric Davis. I have not done these moments. This is a ton of XP sitting here. I'll be banging these out on Twitch soon. And of course, we have some online moments we have to do. We're actually just one home run from 5,000 XP online. I have been doing a ton of offline grinding to get my team built up. But now that my team's built up, we're going to start playing a lot of online. We've started dropping those ranked games and no money spent. We're going to get these missions and those moments done, and we'll get that boss pack once we do. I'll debut them on the squad. Let me know who you want to see in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.